Hey everybody, Chris Meets with Printech here. Today we're going to take a look at our new Amazon integration. The first thing you're going to need if you don't have one already is an Amazon Seller Central professional account. To sign up for an Amazon Seller Central account, go to this page here and click on Start Selling. Note there is a, a $39.99 a month charge from Amazon for this account. Keep in mind that it can take a couple days for Amazon to approve your account. I'll include a link in the description to this page. Next, if you don't have one already, you will also need a Printech account. To do that, you can go to printtech.us and go to Integrations and Amazon and click Buy Now or you can use the sign up link here. After you have your Printech account created, you'll notice in your products list that there is a Connect Amazon Store button or if you go to Integrations and Subscriptions, you can click on Connect from here. After that, if you don't already have a credit card on file with us, fill out the billing information here and approve the monthly charge for our Amazon integration. After that, if you already have an Amazon account, you'll need to give us developer access. If you do not have an Amazon account, you can always come back to this page later on. To give Printech developer access, click on this link here. These values should already be pre-populated for you, but if they're not, they're available here for you to copy and paste. Click on Next. Check this box to agree to Amazon's terms and conditions. And then the information that we need is presented to us here. So copy your seller ID. And then copy your MWS auth token by triple clicking on the text. Click on Submit. After that, if you haven't done so already, you will need a request for a GTIN exemption through Amazon. This allows you to upload products from Printech directly to your Amazon account without having to provide a UPC code. To submit for a GTIN exemption, Amazon requires that you submit a brand support letter with your exemption request. To generate that letter, fill out the information on this form. We'll start with our Amazon seller name, which can be found here. We'll also use that for our brand name. Enter your full name, your seller email address that was used to create the account, your address, and your seller full phone number. Click on Generate Support Letter to download a PDF of the support letter. After you have that downloaded, you will need to sign and date the letter here. After that is complete, you can click on Submit Your GTIN Exemption. This will take you to Amazon to request a GTIN exemption. In this box here, enter the reason you are requesting a GTIN exemption and click on yes for supporting letter. In most cases, you can use the name of your store as your brand. You will need to fill this out for every category that you plan to sell products in. To cover the basics of Printex catalog, You'll want to add GTIN exemption for clothing and accessories, office products, pet supplies, home and garden, and baby. If you plan on sell, if you plan on selling in any other categories, add those here as well. And then click here and upload the brand support letter that we created earlier. After you submit for a GTIN exemption, it can take up to a couple of business days for Amazon to approve your exemption for all the categories. After you've been approved for a GTIN exemption, you can start using the product push generator to add products to your Amazon store. So we'll click continue to build products. Any of the products that we have already built for any of our other stores can be utilized to sell on Amazon. We do recommend when creating your products that you adhere to Amazon's title and description recommendations. A link to those guidelines will be included in the description below. To create a new product, click on Create New Product, select the product you want to offer, enter your pricing, enter the title of your product, and edit your description as needed. Upload your artwork and click on save and finish. After your product is created, we can simply click on push to Amazon store. After your product is pushed to Amazon, it can take some time before it's displayed in your seller central account. 
Now that the product is available in our Amazon account, we can see the product loaded with all of our images. Keep in mind that it can take several hours for these images to be displayed in your Amazon account and even longer for them to be displayed on the product listing. If we go in to edit this product, we can see all the information preloaded with the information that we defined in our Printec dashboard. You can feel free to change any of the information except for the seller SKU. If you need to change the title, description, or images, feel free to do so inside of here. In the next video, we'll cover how our Amazon integration works with Amazon Custom Link.